give these on-screen romantic love interests an award, because they surely deserve one for their skills. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie couples who hated each other in real life. So, what do you think? Are we a team? For this list, we're looking at famous couples who were cute, or at least believable together on the big screen, but who actually despised each other when the cameras stopped rolling. Do not throw rocks when you live in the house of Joe. Okay. Number 10, Anthony Hopkins and Shirley MacLaine, A Change of Seasons. Prepare yourself for some company. This comedy, about a married middle-aged couple where each member begins an affair with a younger person, stars Anthony Hopkins and Shirley MacLaine as the hitched pair in question. Hey, what's gonna do with you, huh? While they may be married in the film, in reality, Hopkins despised working with MacLaine and reportedly called her, quote, the most obnoxious actress he'd ever worked with. How can I possibly talk about my personal problems when you two are more screwed up than I've ever been? The film itself was not critically well received, as demonstrated by its three Razzie Awards. However, MacLaine's lively performance at least helped make the duo's relationship seem realistic on screen. Come on, it's not what you think. Hmm? I said it's not what you think. I heard what you said. You said it's not what you think. What's that supposed to mean? Number nine, Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey, Dirty Dancing. This is my dance space. This is your dance space. I don't go into yours, you don't go into mine. You gotta hold the frame. These two did not have the time of their lives on set. See what we did there? Now I had the time of my life. This romantic drama features Jennifer Grey and Patrick Swayze as a student and dance instructor who fall in love during her summer vacation. You are not scared of anything. I don't Me? know. Me? I'm scared of everything. I'm scared of what I saw. I'm scared of what I did, of who I am. While they may be almost too hot to handle on camera, Swayze found Grey incredibly difficult as a co-lead, calling her too silly and immature to work with. I don't see you fighting so hard, baby. I don't see you running up to daddy telling him I'm your guy. Well, with my father, it's complicated. I will tell him I... I don't believe you, baby. The pair also had trouble working together on the set of Red Dawn a few years before. They must have mended fences, though, as Grey was clearly upset about Swayze's death in 2009. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Number 8. Leonardo DiCaprio and Claire Danes, Romeo and Juliet. Romeo. <sighs> Oh, Romeo. Where for out thou Romeo? Romeo and Juliet are literature's most iconic lovers, so it's very ironic that the two leads playing them did not get along. She can't His name is Romeo. It's a Montague, the only son of your great enemy. In this 1996 modern adaptation of the famous Shakespeare play, Romeo and Juliet vie for each other, despite their respective families' constant fighting. I defy you, stars! However, in real life, Danes reported that DiCaprio was a nuisance on set, acting very immature due to his pranks on crew members and general goofball attitude. <laughs> DiCaprio in turn called Danes stuck up and too serious. While the characters may be star-crossed lovers, the actors couldn't have been more mismatched. To engrossing death. <laughs> Number seven, Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon, Four Christmases. I thought they hated each other. Well. This movie stars Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon as a loving couple who hate and actively avoid their families on Christmas. So maybe it's actually appropriate that the actors hated each other during filming. I don't want to fight. Honey, I don't want to fight either. He we never does. fight, honey. I'm sorry. I love you. Their personalities clashed on set, with Witherspoon wishing to stick to the script so that she could nail a scene, while Vaughn wanted to ad-lib and work with a more easygoing approach. It would appear that my wife is better at making babies than swaddling them, no? <laughs> yes? <laughs> We can't say we're surprised, as one is an Oscar-winning actress and the other is, well, Vince Vaughn. Woman, do your job and swaddle this baby! Brad, I can't. You're wearing the swaddle thing around your belt. Enough! 
Number 6. Marilyn Monroe and Laurence Olivier, The Prince and the Showgirl Oh, I just hate that! This romantic comedy about a showgirl who gets involved in political intrigue caused co-stars Monroe and Olivier to despise each other by the film's end. Cheerio. Cheerio. <coughs> Olivier also acted as director, and he became enraged at Monroe due to many factors, including her constant tardiness, her unpredictable acting, and her constant consulting of her acting coach. Don't think of his love, think of ours, my darling. Hello, think of our love and the beauty of our meeting here. The final nail in the coffin was when Olivier told her to, quote, try and look sexy. You mean you want me to kiss you? You are so literal. This would not be the last time Monroe allegedly caused problems, as Tony Curtis became frustrated with her two years later, filming Some Like It Hot. That's very interesting. Number 5. William Baldwin and Sharon Stone, Sliver. <laughs> This thriller stars Billy Baldwin and Sharon Stone as the lovers in the middle of strange occurrences in a high-rise apartment building. What's that? A volcano. I've always loved them. I'd like to fly into one sometime. Throughout filming, Stone would constantly emasculate Baldwin, which he understandably did not appreciate. Why? So you can talk dirty to me some more? During one kissing scene, Stone supposedly bit Baldwin's tongue so hard that he couldn't talk for a few days afterwards. Things became so bad that they soon requested that they shoot their scenes separately, as they were obviously not getting along. Stone then went on to say that she would have loved filming if Baldwin's brother Alec was in his place. Good night. Sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Number 4. Nick Nolte and Julia Roberts, I Love Trouble This romantic comedy stars Nick Nolte and Julia Roberts as rival reporters who fall in love while uncovering a conspiracy involving milk. Hey, you're a legend. <laughs> it's amazing just being in the same arena with you, really. Roberts has called Nolte the worst actor she has ever worked with, as well as a, quote, disgusting human being. Yeah, I've grown real attached to little dick. <laughs> Nolte did not take kindly to Roberts' disdain and began to intentionally annoy her. For starters, honey, you ain't my type. Really? I didn't know you had a type. I do. The opposite of you. Things were so bad, it was reported that they acted more with stand-ins than they did with each other. Their relationship has not progressed since, as they still hold animosity towards each other. And furthermore, I think you owe me an apology. In my opinion, meeting me was the best thing that ever happened to you. You could have quit this story anytime you wanted, and you didn't. Number three, Pierce Brosnan and Terry Hatcher, Tomorrow Never Dies. In the franchise's 18th installment, Pierce Brosnan as Bond tries to stop a media mogul from starting World War III. Behind the scenes, Brosnan was furious with co-star Terry Hatcher, though, as she was constantly late to work in the morning. Paris, you don't have to do this. It's the easiest way to get in. Don't argue with me, James. As it turns out, Hatcher was pregnant at the time of filming and was experiencing morning sickness. Did I get too close for comfort? Brosnan later admitted to having said some things he shouldn't have, and has since apologized to Hatcher as he was not aware of her situation. And how are you, Paris? Much better now. We're even. Number two, Richard Gere and Deborah Winger, an officer and a gentleman. You know, man, you ain't nothing special. You got no manners, you treat women like whores. And if you ask me, you ain't got no chance of being no officer. This drama tells the story of a Navy candidate played by Richard Gere, who comes into conflict with his drill instructor. So those of you in 1-5 must assist in thinking of me as the drill instructor for the next 60 minutes. Just think of me as the enemy. During filming of the famous love story, Gear and Deborah Winger definitely were not what you would call good friends, with Winger referring to Gear as a, quote, brick wall, when trying to converse or interact with him. What are you talking about? 
his stoic personality further aggravated Winger, and the two spent no time together off-camera, with reports that they distanced themselves as far away from each other as possible in order to give each other space. I love you. I've loved you since I met you. Don't you understand? No! Before we look at our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Sweet f***ing Christ, would you knock it off? Good. What? I'm Elise. I'm Frank. That's a terrible name. <laughs> I want my son. You can't have him. Now don't get defensive. Don't, don't try to bully me. I'm not getting okay? defensive. <laughs> I'm going crazy over here, but no, with you everything's fine. You don't have a care in the world? Number one, Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams, The Notebook. Can we just get up? That's your problem. You know that? This romantic drama about two lovers who are torn apart due to their social standings is regarded as one of the seminal chick flicks of our generation. So it's disappointing to hear that the star-crossed lovers did not actually get along on set. Are you breaking up with me? I don't see how it's gonna work. The director even made public the events of a day during which Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams were screaming and yelling at each other, while also stating that Gosling tried to have McAdams replaced due to his strong negative feelings for her. It wasn't over. It still isn't over. Perhaps it's this very intense dislike for each other that helped make the on-screen couple's passion translate so well on the big screen. You watch me cry myself to sleep for months and months, and you never said anything. Whatever the case may be, it seemed they got over their differences, as the two actors actually went on to date after the movie was completed. You love him? Yeah, I do. I love him very much. Do you agree with our list? I think you may have overlooked one line of detail. Which acting couple do you think hated each other the most in real life? I'm really quite delighted you're here, Miss Marina. Quite delighted. I hope you are too. Enraptured. Now, will you sit here? For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Get a life.